Okay, so yeah, like I said, we done this on yesterday's session. Okay, so again, like I always talk about accumulation. When you're seeing price move sideways, it's not always just stagnant price. Okay, it's, it's gearing itself up to go higher or potentially go lower if it's distributed. So obviously this is accumulation. So we're looking for the spring test and then continue going up. So again, that's exactly what we see here. So I'm not going to label all the phases, but you're seeing that accumulation happen here. Then we get a spring, then price engulfs, goes above, now broken structure. And then with the hope for the test to give us an entry. Okay, but right now it's not, it's not giving us that as of yet. But if it does, that'll be the first test. And then we start heading up. Okay, so that's that's basically what this is. Okay, that's what you want to look for. So again, break above, break structure, come back, test, and then continue to keep going up. So that's what you want to look for. In regards to that here so if that doesn't if that doesn't play out then we'll find another entry but in due time eventually it will come either this week or next week okay for one reason or another it's going, it's going to use this candle either we come down here so you test the demand and go up or we break it and use it as a breaker block so now you're using the same candle it's just an opposite direction instead of buying from that candle now you sell from that candle and then use it as a breaker block and then boom dump it down Okay, so that's that's GJ. And then, like I said, with GU, quite similar, just more than a five minute. Okay, but again, this is looking like it just wants to go. Okay, so I'm guessing the DXY right now is falling. Okay, which is what's given us this move. Okay, so since yesterday's session, like I said, we haven't quite taken out this area here yet. So this, this low right here, plus this little gap in here, could be our ticket in. So if it does come back one more time, boom, taps into here, and then we go up. So yeah, that's for GU. Okay, so I hope that's now made sense to everyone and you guys have seen the entry. Um, I couldn't find you. Yeah, I already answered that. That's all good. All right, perfect. Okay, and then the next thing. Okay, so gold. Is it gold? Yeah, gold. Okay, we spoke about this yesterday as well. And like I said, things haven't quite shifted as I thought they might have. And we're still kind of roughly in the same area. So again, we had the first entry, which I missed. <laughs> I'm, still, I'm still kind of burdened that I missed that entry. Okay, where was it? Right there. Okay, I'm still kind of burning. Oops, come back. Okay, still kind of burning that I missed that entry. I mean, it was so straightforward. Like, literally everything that we would like to see. Okay, literally lows. Oh, where's the thing not clicking? Okay, there you go. Okay, we literally had those lows in there. Okay, liquidity wipe. Like, we we done a whole lot and then came into this candle. And I, I don't know how I didn't spot it earlier on. And then it's tapped in. It went up. We came back one more time. Okay. And then, yeah, we kept on going. But again, by the time I've done a session, we was already kind of in around here. But yeah, we're still kind of in that same zone. So I've marked out the new supply. So this is on the 15 minute. Okay, so this is right now going to give us about a 26 pip stop. Okay, if we're going to play off this 15 minute candle to head higher, target some highs in here. I mean, again, I'm just being more ambitious because you you guys already know how to trade. But all you have to do is target the next high, which coincidentally is the Asian session range. Okay, so that will give you about 100 pips. Okay, so that's, uh, what's what's that trade? Four to one trade there, if you're using the 26 pip stop. Okay, and then obviously, if you want to target the next Asian range, which again, coincidentally, is um the next the next TP, which is the Asian session range. So yeah, again, like I would say, watch the Asian session ranges. Okay, watch the Asian session ranges because they tell a story. And again, things always line up with them. Okay, so yeah, this trade is still valid. So we've taken out this high now. So this gives me confidence to say, cool, from here to here, okay? And you can see where our FIBs line up, 79.89. That's the best price we, we we like, right? So let me just put this a little bit smaller here and let me flip into the five minutes, see if we can find a better entry. Because right now we've got about 25, 26 pips stop. Okay, yeah, I remember why I marked it out like this now. Because, yeah, there's just two candles that's kind of in between both. And you don't really get a clean one where you're thinking, yeah, that's, that's definitely the one that you want to play with. Okay, so, yeah, in, in between the zone. So again... One that you don't have to put a buy limit for, but just kind of wait to see what happens when it comes into the area. Okay, because we can play off this candle right here. Okay, and be very aggressive. Okay, I mean, you can try both. If you lose, then why not? Okay, so you'll have like a 12 pip stop there. Okay, or you can say, you know what? I'm, I'll rather wait for the lower one. Okay, but right now, just the way things are, I'll just say, just wait for price to come in on a 15 minute. Okay, and then what you want to see. Okay, and let me just do ghost feed. Okay, what you want to see is something similar to this. Okay, you want to see something similar to that. Okay, let me just drag this across now. So when this comes in, you want to see something similar to this. Okay, so similar how that price action happened here. Okay, with smaller candles on a five minute, then you want to see the same kind of thing 
through there. Okay, so that's that's what you would like to see. Okay, and then break above here, and then that's your TP one. Yeah. Okay, and that's that's what we like to see. So yeah, we'll see exactly how that plays out. But yeah, you don't have to put a buy limit. Just wait to see when price comes in, in and around here on a five minute, and then wait for kind of engulfing candles, all that kind of stuff. Okay, you want to see some engulfing candles, and then you can enter, and then be more aggressive with your entry that way. So so yeah, with gold, if it doesn't go up right now, okay, then I I mean either way, I'm still preferring this entry. I don't I don't like to enter just randomly in the air okay like I, I want a specific area so it has to be this okay as you can see we've broken the structure now so price needs to pull back so where's it going to pull back to it should pull back into here so now that's what i'm waiting for specifically okay so i'm you can enter here if you wanted to okay just in the middle of nowhere and just chance it that it's not going to come lower than this and put your stop loss here okay but yeah i, I don't personally like doing that especially now you can see we've kind of taken out this low okay but yeah if you wanted to enter that's that's totally up to you but I'll rather wait for this 2019.50 area, okay? So right now it's giving us about, if you're playing it directly, about a 25 pip stop. But like I said, just wait for it to come in, set your alert if you need to, and then flick onto the five minute, one minute, and then from there you can actually execute more aggressively. Okay, so yeah, right now, 15 minute, 25 pip stop. If you're happy with that, do it, okay? But yeah, for me personally, I'm not gonna put a buy limit there. I'll just wait for it to come in. So that's, that's gold, okay? That's gold. And yeah, like we said, GU, same thing, five minute, Okay, that's that entry there. Wait for it to come in uh, on a five minute as well, um, just below. So again, price level 1.25340. Okay, 1.25340 on a five minute. Again, it's just the last down candle day on a five minute. So check it out yourself. Um, and then we said, again, similar to gold, um, GJ. Okay, it's just in the air right now. I, I, don't, I don't like entering off this. So again, like I said, you can definitely chance it. Okay, off this last down candle that got engulfed. Okay, you could definitely chance it. And I do this sometimes myself. Okay, and I probably, I'll see how this develops and I probably will do it just in case. Okay, so again, if you're playing this one, 15 minute through here. Okay, stop loss just under. You're looking about your yeah, maximum eight pips and then see if it does if it does go up. Okay, so you could chance it like that sometimes because it does play out. So sometimes it doesn't come back for us straight away. Okay, but my preferred entry, like I said, would be right here. Okay, seven, eight pips stop. And then we target all of this, okay? Literally target all of this, which give you about 130, 200 pips plus. Okay, so that's that's GJ. Okay, so those are the trades I'm looking at specifically right now. Everything else is not really looking as great or as clean to me right now. I looked at EU earlier on. It came to that entry that we spoke about yesterday. Okay, so it's come back one more time again. Okay, so right now, yeah, I'm just, I'm just going to leave EU alone because like I said, DXY is just kind of just doing nonsense as well. So... Yeah, right now, it's just about patience, okay? Right now, it's just about patience. So again, this IPA zone that we spoke about yesterday, okay, has... Why have I got so many arrows here? What's going on? <laughs> Bruh, what is going on? Why have I got so many arrows and stuff? Wait, what's this? Oh, okay, I remember now. Okay. <laughs> what the hell is going on here? All right, so yeah, like I spoke about DXY yesterday, okay? DXY, um, we said about this IPA zone, so we've kind of made a double top now, which is kind of liquidity. Okay, and like I said, when I drew this two, three weeks ago, I said something like this will happen and then we'll rise up and it's, we're either going to come up into here and then drop or we're going to go straight up into the supply zone. So one of those two things can happen, which is why you can see the arrows, okay, either coming into here or price coming up into here and then dropping into that zone. Again, like I say, the way I trade, the way I draw my charts, it looks like, is it Tetris? Okay, where it's bouncing off, bouncing off stuff. No, not Tetris, that's, that's something else. That ping pong game, okay, where the ball is just bouncing, okay? So you always want to understand your zones, right? You always want to understand if it doesn't stop here, where's the next place it's going to stop? Then you find your daily supply, okay, boom. If it doesn't stop there, where's the next place it's going to stop? Then you find that supply, like boom, there's that candle. So again, I know now two two areas of interest there, okay? If it does, if it does stop here and then goes down, where's it going to go, okay? Then you find your next supply zone, I mean demand zone down here, which is on a weekly, okay? You could do it on a daily here as well. Okay, and then if it doesn't stop there, where's the next place it's gonna stop? Again, this is literally all I do. Okay, this is literally all I do. So you're playing zone to zone. And then obviously in, in that, you mark out your market structure, you see what's going on, and then you're like, all right, cool. This is what I should expect. Okay, so right now with the DXY, okay, as you can clearly see, is an it's an uptrend right that. Okay, on this weekly at least. So if we come down into here, the next move could potentially be higher. But yeah, fundamentally, yeah, we just want this to get weaker. So yeah, that's that's that in a nutshell. Okay, that's literally that in a nutshell. But was there any last questions um, before we kind of shut down a session?
Okay, quite a quick one, straightforward trades. There's not much for us to market skew right now that I would prefer anyway. Okay, so was there any last questions before we go? Wait, so is there anything for me to set limits on? Um, yeah, I'm not sure how long you've been on a session, but I literally called out three times. Yeah, I called out the limit orders three times. So I'm not sure when you joined the session, but yeah, and I covered it again. So again, you said golds. Okay, we're going to 15 minute. Again, like I said, you guys need to get comfortable looking at the chart yourself. Okay, like <laughs> you're going five minutes ago, you're just praying. Okay, so again, 15 minute gold. Okay, 15 minute gold. That's that's the one we're looking at. Okay, like I said, I wouldn't personally put a buy limit because there's two candles in a five minute, one here and one there. That's in between. So I'll wait for price to come into here. Okay, I'll wait for price to come into here and then execute. But like I said, if you're comfortable with 25 pip stop, then just put a buy limit on that. Okay, if you're comfortable with 25 pip stop, just put a buy limit on that. Okay, but if not, wait for it to come in. Five minute, one minute, and then market execute um, very, very strongly. Okay. <laughs> you know, every time <laughs> every time that um, I do a session now, I'm just going to put my link in the chat box. And then if anyone asks me, do I have YouTube? Or what's my YouTube channel? Then I'm going to literally just say, look in the chat. Because <laughs> it's happening all the time. Okay, but that's that's my YouTube channel. Okay, so yeah. Okay, do you look for FVGs? Yeah, I look for FG, FVGs, but I call them IPAs because I'm very old school. Okay, I don't, FVG is like a new new school term that people like to use, but I'm very old school. I learned this about five years ago, six years ago, and it was called IPA, and all of a sudden it changed to FVG. Okay, so I'm sticking with my IPA, but FVG, IPA, same thing. Okay, so yeah, that's what I call it. Um, So yeah, there's, yeah, it's time gaps there and whatever else, but yeah, same thing, FVG, IPA, it's all the same thing. So that's the gold. Okay, 15 minute, look at that. And then G, GJ on a 15 minute also. Okay, so right now, like I said, if you want to be very aggressive, if you want to be very aggressive and take the chance with this, okay, right now on a 15 minute, okay, you've got this order block that's been engulfed. Didn't quite take out this high, but you can be very risky and try this trade and just say, let's see what happens. Okay, right now it's come off the wick. Obviously, I prefer the bodies, but right now it's come off the wick. And if you want to put um, your buy right now, the stop loss is under here, which would be about nine pips. Okay, and just see what happens and then let it ride up. Okay, if not, my preferred entry will be down here. Okay, again, on a 15 minute run, 186, 200. That'll be my preferred entry. So this, like I said, you can market execute this right now and be more aggressive and just take the chance. But I don't personally like buying just in the middle of nowhere. Okay, I like to just buy from lows or highs. Buys from lows and sells from highs. So that's that's me personally. But this trade right now, I'll, you can take the chance on this. It will potentially work. Okay, it will potentially work. And we record something else next year, though. <laughs> yeah, it probably will. There's people always trying to change the names and stuff just to make themselves sound smarter, right? Okay, that's how the industry works. Okay, but yeah, like I said, with this GJ right now, you can I'll execute this right now if you want. Stop plus nine pips. But for me, I'll be waiting for this because that's the best entry, as we already know. Okay, that's the best potential entry. There's no point trying to buy here because you're putting yourself, you're, it's just a 50 50 chance. Okay, I mean, trading in general is kind of, you could say 50 50, but you're putting yourself less in a winning position if you're trying to buy from here right at the top where people are selling okay so yeah for me specifically i'll rather wait for here but like i said i've seen this happen time and time again okay and that's how we stack orders as well okay so yeah this is this right now is playing out okay um like i said gu i've been in since yesterday and it's flying okay like someone just said in the thing i've, I've been in since yesterday like i was hoping it would come back into this five minute Okay, for you guys that are not in already, but I've been in since here. Like my buy limit literally hit yesterday and then I'm not executed as well on a different account. So yeah, for you guys that's not in right now, like I said, five minute. If it does come back right now, it's not looking like it wants to. <laughs> it's not looking like it wants to at all, but if it does come back five minute down here, you've got IPA and you've got this um, demand candle that you could potentially play off. But for us that, us that guys that got in yesterday or some people got in even this morning off their H1, which I'm guessing is right here. Okay, 11 o'clock, boom, H1 candle. That was a nice execution. And then, yeah, that's 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 riding up right now. So, yeah, so far from my entry, I'm up now 52 pips. If you did get in on this one hour entry this morning, okay, off this demand candle, then you should be up about 30, 30 pips. Yeah, 32 pips right now. Okay, so, yeah, at this point, if you're already in and you haven't moved your stop into profit, I would definitely say move it into profit and uh, just let it ride. Okay, if it does come back for whatever reason, if it does come back for whatever reason, then you've got this five minute candle here and you've got this five minute candle here. Why am I now looking at this five minute candle here? Because we broke a structure. 
every time structure breaks, I always ask myself, what started it? This started the break of structure. Okay, this down candle, then engulfing, and then now we've broken structure. So now this is my new point of interest. Okay, this is the new point of interest now. I don't know when my Zoom, um, not Zoom, trade review keeps doing that. But yeah, now this is the new point of interest. Okay, right here. So this will be the next candle I'm looking at. Okay, if I'm looking to enter, okay, we're still going to be looking at this one. I, I still would prefer this one, but now because this has happened, a new break, now this becomes our new point of interest because now this is the one that's caused a shift. Okay, so now if again, if you get your fibs, I don't know if it's just trading me that's really slow, it's just my laptop. Okay, boom, you can see 89% lines up with that. Boom, that's the green zone. And then just do the same thing again. Okay, so I hope that helps. Um, I hope, yeah, some of you guys already got into GU, so that's definitely good. Definitely good. Um, FBG's IPAs are slightly are slightly different. Um, no, they're not. Okay, but cool. Um, if I, if I was in a GU cell and I just missed my TP and flew up down, sorry, bro. Chris, GU, he's happy. I'm guessing Chris is in that GU in that GU buy with what else? I'm not sure. Wait, Chris, are you actually in the buy or are you putting crying faces because you're not in it? <laughs> I'm not sure. Sometimes I don't know how to read that. Okay, you know it ain't coming back. <laughs> What I I for news, I'm not sure who you are, but why are you trying to dampen people's hope, bro? <laughs> or girl, I'm not sure like what what who this person is, but yeah, it might come back, man. Let's give some people hope. <laughs> I was in it from yesterday, went out in like the bloody cold, I'm not hokey cokey. Oh, in and out like the hokey cokey. Yeah, sorry, I'm I'm Nigerian. I don't know about hokey cokey, but I know what you're talking about. But I'm listening to more burner boy. <laughs> so yeah I don't know about all that hockey cocky I'm not even saying I'm, am I even saying it right hockey cocky hockey cocky I don't know how you say it bro but yeah I'm in it from yesterday only small though it's all good bro like all profit is profit uh, all profit is profit Chris your account will steadily grow it's all about percentage don't think about the profit think about the percentage because if you could do the same thing on a hundred pound account you could do the same thing on a one thousand pound account if you could do the same thing on a one thousand pound account you could do the same thing on a hundred k account it's all about percentages Okay, don't think about the profits right now. If you're making five pounds, ten pounds, think cool. What what's the percentage in that? If I did that on a hundred um a hundred k account, what would be the percentage and what would be the profit on that? So just understand percentages rather than thinking, oh my profit is small. Okay, if you just started, everyone starts from somewhere. So don't don't worry about that too much in regards to small profit or whatever else. But being in with bigger injury, all right, it's all good. But yeah, guys, I'm gonna leave the session as that for now. Um, and then yeah. Actually, wait, last question. So at what point do you decide to take partials? When I take partials, okay, I mean, everyone's different. But for me, once it's done like 50% of the trades, okay, if it's, let's just say, I mean, for GU, for example, because you guys already know I'm looking at a big, big move. Okay, I'm looking at a big, big move. Okay, so let's just say, for example, let's just say, oops, I didn't mean to do that. So let's just say now, yeah, I've entered, okay, we're about 50 pips up. This is when I'll move my stock into profit. Okay, around 30, 50 pips. When it's already broken structure, done its thing, I've moved my stop into profit. Okay, and then when it gets halfway, okay, I'm like, all right, cool. Let's see how it develops. I won't be so quick to take partials, but if I start seeing signs that it might want to pull back or do something like that, I'll be like, all right, cool. Let me take some partials. It might be 20% of it, 50% of it, 80% of it. But most times when it's halfway, I'll take like 20 to 30% off and I'll see how things are riding out. If it starts dropping even more, I'll be like, all right, cool. Let me take an extra 20. So now I've got 50% 50, 50 partials taken out. And then I'll let it ride and I see what happens from there. And then hopefully when we start coming into here, complete my TPs, then yeah, again, I'll, I'll enter two times anyway. So if I've got, if I, if you see something like this, when I post it, when I've got one entry, I mean, one target for here, one target for here, I'll usually enter two times. So when it's done halfway through this one on this trade, I'll be like, cool, take 50% partials, let it ride. Boom, TP's hit. From this one, okay, 50% is when TP is hit on this one. Okay. And then I'll take maybe some partials from that and let the rest ride. So again, it's just totally up to you how you want to manage your trades. Okay, so what's your, what's your own telly channel where you post stuff? I don't have my own Telegram channel. Everything's in gold mine. We're all one team. Okay, we're all one team. I'm not going to just create a whole new thing. So we'll, it's either you're in gold mine and you're seeing our signals. Uh, or yeah, that's that's literally the only place I post it. Okay, so gold mine, stay tuned to that channel. But I don't have my own Telegram channel because we're all one team. Okay, so yeah, that's that for today, guys. So until tomorrow, we'll see how things play out. And hopefully you guys are in a lot more trades. And then, uh, yeah, peace out.